Hey Ari, where's Sarah so we can get started? Here I am! Sorry I'm late, I was just doing my makeup. <laughs> Move it, babe. Ah, God. And try not kill me with the door next time, eh? <laughs> Sorry, John. Take you so long. John Dixie. Now that everyone's here, let's get our character sheets out. <laughs> right, we all know the drill, folks. Let's get to it. The adventurers find themselves in a tavern on the verge of the great expanse of forest known as the Wilds, lured by tales of evil and treasure and fame. Dark things have been set in motion recently, and the villagers whisper of the living dead, and of the mysterious man whose face has never been seen, supposedly behind it all. Terry, my good man, we're, we're just here for uh, some place to stay, my, my companions and I. Ah, you folks are nae fair in here, are ye? You can bide the night if you like, but dinna go hampering anybody. Anyway, what brings you to this part of the world? Our business is our own, we have important stuff to do and things that don't concern you. Ha 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 ha! I fit the way you say, Pop. Forget I asked. Anyway, I wouldn't want to interfere with your stuff and all your other stuff. You dare insult me, human? I have fought nameless horrors since before you were born. I command forces on a whim you can barely understand. And you dare insult me! Sorry about him, he's got a bit of an ego. Who do you folks think you are coming into my place and threatening me? You best explain yourself or I'm likely to get mighty upset. Calm down. Ignore the elf. And Mac can stop that. Our friend's a bit hot-headed is all. We're only here because we heard some strange things were happening. Like evil things. So we came along to find them and stop them. Yes, we're here to smite this would-be evil in the name of the light. Evil happenings? You'll be talking about the dead forest then? The dead forest? Aye, the dead forest. They say the forest is cursed. But it wasn't like that when I first came here six years ago. People are talking about evil happenings. Evil things? Like what? Walking dead and a hooded lich that controls them. The undead? Hmm. What? You're not stirred by the fact that there's the undead walking about? Which part of the world do you come from? I mean, aha! The undead! So creepy and scary and stuff. Well, if you're looking into that, You'll be needing a guide. Enlist the help of that odd fella over there. But you won't be setting out tonight, but I suppose you can bide the night here with your good intentions and all that, and then I want you and your stuck-up elf and friend out of here for good. Thank you, good sir. Aye, fit ever. God, the real weird ones, these folks. You looking to go into the forest then? Aye, I'll take you for the right price. Very well. What's your price? Okay, for the three of you, 15 sovereigns, five each. Okay, here. Come on, guys, you're all involved in this, not just Mackin. Okay, I'll give him the money. What? Well, I'll just. No, Mackin, I'll give him the money, or I'll stab you. I throw a per uh, coin person at the guide. <laughs> Not quite what I meant, but that's fine, I guess. Anyway, after securing their guide, the group go and pay old Garrick for a couple of rooms. Sleep comes easily to them that night, and they rise nice and early in the morning. After thanking Garrick for his hospitality, as he grumbles as they stumble out into the morning air, they head off to meet their guide in the fabled Dead Forest. Wow, it's cold here. I don't like it, it's not natural. Quickly, follow me. I'll show you what I believe the source of this corruption. Mm -hmm. 
Great to you. I'll scout ahead. Well, that was helpful. Do you guys think we should follow him? I don't know. What do you think, Lurfield? We should probably set up camp for now. We can't take that long. The guide has been gone for quite some time now, and the sun is beginning to set. I'm going to get some shit. I don't want to be too tired if anything actually happens around here. Me too. Well, I don't mind staying up some of the night and then we can swap over after a while. That way all of us get some rest. I'll stay up with you. I don't want to sleep right now. Too many faces. Ugh, man up. So are we going to fast forward to morning? I want to keep playing. Yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, fine. yeah. Up and up. Cool. Um, yeah, we can keep going now because you want to roll a perception check. Yeah, sure. You that? I think I see something moving. You better make the others. We've got company. Get up. Line it up! Right guys, this is the first proper combat. So here's how it'll work. We'll all roll initiative, and then we add it to your sheet, to the modifier on your sheet, sorry. Whoever gets the highest wins, and they go first. Do whatever actions you want. Try and keep the talking in character. If you do, you'll get a nice surprise from me. Beast, 23. 13. I got two, plus three. So six. Why well, tell me what's wrong with that dear? Somebody tell Sorry. me I'm a dog here. <laughs> <laughs> Roll Rav. 16. Okay folks, let's get started. Akis, you're going for oh wait, I've got something to set the mood first. Dude. There we go. On you go, Akis. Right, well, I'm going to knock an arrow and fire and cut the zombie. Too much info, just, no, I'll just go away. I've got bad images now.